Torun Garin, born the 19th of September 1947, died the 26th of April 2002 at age 54. Torun Ataraz, Terry, Garin was a Norwegian chemical engineer who helped develop aspartame sweetener as a sugar substitute while working for General Foods, 1971-85, where she became a senior laboratory manager. Earlier in her career, she researched ways to minimize water pollution caused by food production. She co-patented an ads option process to extract caffeine from coffee, the 12th of September 1978, no. 4,113,887, and a method to derive food dyes from natural sources to replace possibly cancer-causing synthetic dyes the 11th of October 1983, no. 4,409,254, for example, non-toxic betanin, a natural red pigment from red beet. These U.S. patents were assigned to General Foods Corp. After attending university in Norway, she moved to the U.S. for degrees in chemical engineering, 1971, and environmental engineering, 1977. She died from lung cancer, age 54. Elizabeth Stern. Born 19 September 1915, died 18 August 1980 at age 64. Elizabeth Stern, married name Elizabeth Stern Shankman, was a Canadian-born American, one of the first pathologists to work on the progression of a cell from normality to cancerous. Her breakthrough studies of cervical cancers have changed the disease from fatal to one of the most easily diagnosed and treatable. Her studies showed that a normal cell advanced through 250 distinct stages before becoming cancerous and thus is the most easily diagnosed of all cancers. She was the first to linking a virus in herpes simplex to cervical cancer. She was also the first to report the linkage between oral contraceptives and cervical cancer. Victor Weisskopf. Born 19 September 1908, died 21 April 2002 at age 93. Victor Frederick Weisskopf was an Austrian-American theoretical physicist and administrator who was a doctoral student of Max Born at Göttingen. Weisskopf was a major contributor in the golden age of quantum mechanics. In following years, he worked with Heisenberg, Schrödinger, Bohr and Pauli. To escape Nazism, he moved to the U.S. 1937. He joined the Manhattan Project at Los Alamos in 1943, where he became associate head of the theoretical division. His post-war career was spent at MIT, Murray Gell-Mann was one of his students. In the 1950s, Weisskopf developed the clouded crystal ball model of the atomic nucleus. He served as director general of CERN, the High Energy Particle Research Center, 1961-65, then returned to MIT until he retired in 1973. Charles Mogan. Born 19 September 1878, died 25 April 1958 at age 79. Charles Victor Mogan was a French mineralogist and crystallographer who was one of the first to make a systematic study of the silicate minerals. Using X-ray diffraction techniques, he determined the structure of a large number of micas. He also published the atomic structure of cinnabar, calomel and graphite and devised a system of symbols for designation of symmetry properties of crystals, adopted 1935 as international standard. Fritz Schauden. Born 19 September 1871, died 22 June 1906 at age 34. Fritz Richard Schauden was a German zoologist and microbiologist who, with dermatologist Eric Hoffmann, discovered 1905, the spirochate which causes syphilis, Spirocata pallida, now known as Treponema pallidum. Schauden determined the amoebic nature of tropical dysentery, worked on trypanosomes, flagellated protozoans which include the causal agent of African sleeping sickness, an infection of the bloodstream, and researched malaria. He also demonstrated that human hookworm infection is contracted through the skin of the feet. He made important contributions to zoology and helped develop protozoology as an experimental science. He also discovered the alternation of generations in foraminifera and coccidae. Carl Eric Korins. Born 19 September 1864, died 14 February 1933 at age 68. Karl Franz Joseph Erich Korins was a German botanist and plant geneticist who in 1900, independent of, but simultaneously with, the biologists Erich Schermack von Seisenegg and Hugo de Vries, rediscovered Gregor Mendel's historic paper outlining the principles of heredity. 
In attempting to ascertain the extent to which Mendel's laws are valid, he undertook a classic study of non-Mendelian heredity in variegated plants, such as the four o'clock Mirabilis jalapa, which he established 1909, as the first conclusive example of extrachromosomal, or cytoplasmic, inheritance cases in which certain characteristics of the progeny are determined by factors in the cytoplasm of the female sex cell. Florentino Amagino Born 19 September 1853, died 6 August 1911 at age 57. Argentinian paleontologist and anthropologist who made significant contributions to the field of vertebrate paleontology and established the Pampas region of Argentina as a rich source of fossils. He discovered over 6,000 fossil species and classified 35 suborders of mammals. Amagino's controversial discoveries of stone implements, carved bones, and other signs of a human presence in Argentina during the Pliocene, Miocene, and earlier periods served to increase his worldwide fame. William Lever. Born 19 September 1851, died 7 May 1925 at age 73. William Hesketh Lever, first Viscount Leverhume, was a British manufacturer and philanthropist who formed the Lever Brothers Soap Manufacturing Company, 1886, with his brother James, though James was not an active participant in running the business. It was one of the first companies to manufacture soap from vegetable oils instead of tallow. From 1888, Lever established Port Sunlight, a model community providing housing and support for the company's workers, who enjoyed conditions, pay, hours, and benefits far better than found in similar industries. By 1900 the factory was producing other brands such as Lifebuoy, Lux Flakes, Monkey Brand, Vim Scouring Powder and Rinso. In 1914, soap production reached 60,000 tons. George Cadbury. Born 19 September 1839, died 1922. English businessman, Quaker, social reformer and chocolate manufacturer, born in Birmingham. In 1856, at age 21, he joined his father's chocolate business, with his elder brother, Richard, who had joined in 1850. Their father retired in April 1861 due to failing health, and they took over his declining enterprise and built it into the highly prosperous Cadbury Brothers cocoa and chocolate manufacturing firm. George was perhaps more important for his improvements in working conditions and for his successful experiments with a new cocoa bean processing technique. The new pure unadulterated Cadbury's cocoa essence was heralded as a major breakthrough and it resulted in the passing of the Adulteration of Foods Acts in 1872 and 1875.